Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video I'll be teaching you how to build real time streaming pipeline with Apache Flink and Postgres. Meaning we are gonna read CDC events from two tables uh, real time. We're gonna join the data and we're gonna create another table in Postgres. Now anytime you update anything in any one of the table it is real time synced into the new table. Let me show you what I'm talking about, a small demo. And if you're interested, you can watch the video till the end. I have pretty much two tables, which is customer and orders. And here, what I'm doing here is, I have a Flink job uh, over here. As you can see, I have a Flink job, which is inserting into the sink. Now, what I wanna show you is observe here, uh, the price is 111.5, right? For the order ID 105. Now, let me change this one over here. So over here, I'm gonna make to 99999. And when I save it, automatically real time that has been synced, okay? So ready? All right, now let's go to the order table. Uh, let's go to the enrich table. And here you can see, that is, uh, that is what we're gonna build in this video. So we're gonna build uh, this complete pipeline in this video. Step one, we need a Postgres database and you can spin that up using a Docker command. I'm gonna spin up my Docker container by using the word Docker compose up hyphen hyphen build. Now, in order to teach you the concept, we need two tables that is customer in order with some fake data. Let me show you the steps. So here uh, in the notebook, you are given uh, commands. So execute the first command, which will create a table called customer. Execute the second command, which will create the table called orders. Insert some fake data into it and make sure to alter the table uh, uh, and set uh, the replica identity to full for both of the tables. This is very, very important. After that, we're gonna now see the Apache Flink part. The next step is the Flink part. It's pretty straightforward. Over here, we create a table environment. Hopefully the font size are visible everybody, right? So we create a table environment, we load all the jar files and uh, we set the execution checkpoint to 5,000. Pretty straightforward, nothing uh, new over here. Now over here, we define a source. Source in Apache uh, Flink is basically where you're gonna read the data. I'm using a connector called JD, uh, Postgres CDC connector, which allows me to consume uh, the CDC events, okay? So here you can see I am defining the schema for the customer table, and I'm defining, um, uh, you know, all the options such as the connector is Postgres CDC, host as localhost, a username, password, the, the schema, right? And similarly, I do that for the order table, right? I define the, the schema for the order table. I define the username, the password, the, ho uh, the host, uh, etc. And then what I do is I execute them, meaning I am creating two source table. So this step basically creates a source uh, for us. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a sync in Postgres, right? So over here, as you can see, now, this is gonna be my sync, which means I wanna join the customer and the order data. And after joining these two, I wanna insert that into the Postgres. So for that, I'm using a connector called JDBC. This is my JDBC URL, JDBC colon Postgres, localhost 5432, and the database name, right? Uh, the driver name, the table name that you want, uh, username, password, uh, and then you can execute this. So this is gonna create a sync. So in the project, you created a source, there are two source that is orders and customers. You made a sync, which is your Postgres table called enriched orders, whatever you like to call. And now what we gotta do is we gotta uh, read from the source uh, and then write into the sync, okay? So now that's, that's the process. So before that, we need to create this table in Postgres. So make sure to create this table. Again, all these guides are given to you. So hopefully you should be able to follow that. So now you will create this table in Postgres, right? And now you will run this particular cell. This is a streaming job, which means it's gonna run, you know, 24 seven. Uh, as you can see, select, we select uh, a couple of items from the order table. We select a couple of items from the customer table. Uh, we perform a join on customer ID. And observe over here, we say insert into order enrich JDBC sync. That's the sync that we made over here, right? So now what Flink is gonna do is basically, it's gonna consume the CDC events from orders. It's gonna consume the CDC events from the customers. It's gonna perform the join operation. After performing the join operation, you have a JDBC sync. It's gonna insert the data into the JDBC sync. So yeah, you should be able to follow these labs. Uh, I have all the source code for you. So now uh, again, uh, if you come here, oops, let me go to my PG admin. 
come here. So if I select something from the order table, yeah. So before that, I want to show you the enrich table. Oops, looks like I have a typo there. All right. So as you can see, we have Alice, Bob, uh, Alice, Bob, uh, uh, and Alice, right? So because Alice has two orders. So now the moment I change uh, something in the order, automatically my Flink job will, uh, you know, update that. Okay. So let's say one zero 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 zero. Do a save operation here, and then if I go to my enrich table, there you go, guys. You see. Uh, fantastic, right? So uh, this way you guys can develop uh, near or real-time applications with Apache Flink. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This lab will teach you more about how to use the Postgres CDC connector, how to join the data together, how to use JDBC sync connector in Flink, and everything you can do it locally. All you need is a Docker, Docker containers and um, Python installed, and you can perform this lab on your machine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have any further questions, list your question in the comments. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.